I know a lot of you guys probably haven't played LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga in years, possibly not since you were real young, if you're not still real young. And if you're like me, on your first playthrough, I'm sure there were a bunch of details and Easter eggs and stuff you missed. Even some of the mini kit rooms, you know, I skipped over completely because I'm like, I'm not going to replay the same game. I wasn't one of those players as a kid. There's a bunch of stuff in this game you can find on free play that I hadn't seen until I played through again recently. And I'm sure a lot of you are the same. But then you could also be one of those players who's played this game dozens of times and know it inside and out. Everything there is to know about LEGO Star Wars. That's tomorrow's video, no. <laughs> and if you've never played the complete saga, well, now's your chance. I've gone through and found a bunch of Easter eggs and details and stuff you might have missed in episode three, Revenge of the Sith. This is part three of the series. Other two episodes will be linked somewhere. I'm sure you can find them. <laughs> So come on this journey with me. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> Alright, in terms of Easter eggs, the first level of Revenge of the Sith doesn't really have a lot. Battle over Coruscant, I think, is the best flying mission in the game, but not a lot to offer in terms of, you know, stuff you miss. It's just amazing space battle. In Chancellor in Peril, after you defeat Count Dooku, this Lego version of Dooku's death is really different to what's seen in the film. First up, Anakin only slices off one of Dooku's hands as opposed to two. Also, Anakin doesn't even give Palpatine the chance to say, Kill him. Kill him now. Do it. Instead, he just grabs Dooku's lightsaber and swings down at Dooku, who's off screen, and he doesn't even hesitate. Now, I'm not sure what's more brutal, seeing Dooku's head literally bouncing along the floor in the film, you can see that there, oh my goodness, or Anakin straight up going in for the kill in Lego. Palpatine will be pleased either way. After you defeat Dooku in Revenge of the Sith, if you're playing in free play, you're able to use a protocol droid to open this elevated door here. And when you open it up, you'll see nothing but a brick wall. Um, what? Is this a joke? Okay. Pretty sure this here is the only texture. This is the only location in the entire game you can find this texture. It's a real brick wall because if you open this door on the right hand side of this room, you'll find a Lego brick wall that you can actually destroy. Whereas the brick wall is indestructible. What is this? Just the devs trolling us? Maybe it's a Harry Potter reference going to Hogwarts, jumping through the platform. So General Grievous runs off like the coward he is and leaves you to face his deadly Magna Guards. But did you know if you time it just right, you can actually force push R2D2 into the Magna Guards, killing them immediately. I'll be one little tip for you, mate. You see that when you chop off the head, doesn't work, does it? No, it's still coming at you. Should have grabbed old R2, force pushed, bam, there it goes. Magna Guards are down, everybody's happy, you win. Now it's time for another happy landing. In Revenge of the Sith, as you make your way through defense of Kashyyyk, you can come across an Easter egg referencing Luke's X-Wing on Dagobah in The Empire Strikes Back. You can use the force to lift it out of the water. And there's actually a mini kit up above. You can get by jumping from the ARC, but I've already collected that on this playthrough, so you're not going to see it. Did you know that the first part of the Ruin of the Jedi level in Revenge of the Sith is actually based on a deleted scene from the film? Originally, instead of just the regular 501st clones that appear in the film, Obi-Wan and Yoda were going to be met with Jedi imposters once they arrived at the temple on Coruscant. Master Yoda, thank goodness you're safe. We've recaptured the temple, but we expect another clone attack at any moment. Hmm. These clones, dressed in Jedi robes, originally appeared in the deleted scene, and these missions were being developed before Revenge of the Sith released. So the devs would have probably been shown early cuts of the film, and they probably hadn't decided, you know, George hadn't made the decision whether he wanted the imposters or the real clones. Not sure why the clones thought they could fool Obi-Wan and Yoda just by putting on a Jedi robe. I mean, you still have the face and voice of a clone. <laughs> New clones make terrible Jedi. I can see why it was cut from the film. Though it is cool getting to fight these guys in LEGO Star Wars. Take him down. Also, if you're in free play, you can walk up to them with the same character and they won't start attacking you. You'll blend right in. Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, good to be here, good to be here. Die! As you make your way through the destroyed Jedi Temple, you'll come across this giant sculpture, the giant ball, which if you move to the side using the Force, will reveal three Jedi training balls, which immediately begin their assault on your life. Dude, we've already got a clone uprising happening here. We don't need more enemies right now. Always found it weird the Jedi in the prequels use these when in A New Hope. I'm pretty sure this droid just belonged to Han Solo. It was something he'd picked up in his travels. Obi-Wan just decided to start using it, you know? I don't think they were ever supposed to be intended for Jedi training. Same with the Blast Shield helmet. This was just a helmet Han had aboard the Falcon. It's like Rey was using one of these in Rise of Skywalker on Agent Kloss. I guess they're trying to reference a new hope here, but you know, kind of lame. Just just put a, tie some cloth around your face. <laughs> 
become Dengar. So this room here in Ruin of the Jedi, you're only able to unlock using a Stormtrooper in free play. And it's actually the room in which Obi-Wan gives his report on the Outer Rim procedures during the film. And he also tells Anakin to be wary of his friend Palpatine. In this Lego version, it's filled with clone troopers and clones in disguise as Jedi, fooling literally no one. Bro, you're still wearing the armor. And once you defeat all the clones, slice them all up, you can enjoy their leftover pizza, have a slice, bunch of pizza boxes and wine glasses all around. What is this, a vegan pizza? They've got no cheese. It's just, what, tomato paste? Come on, mate. <laughs> Come on, you're gonna get some vegan mozzarella on there. Just sprinkle that stuff on top. <laughs> but my question is, how did the clones order pizza? Did they do this after taking the Jedi Temple? Just, you know, just get some Uber Eats delivered? What's the deal here? As you make your way through Ruin of the Jedi, if you walk through this archway, you'll enter the Sacred Council Chambers. Ah yes, the room where Anakin was denied the rank of Master, what? the room where Anakin decided to disobey Mace Windu's orders and go defend Palpatine. <laughs> and the room in which Anakin slaughtered the younglings. They're not here now though, seems as though the clones cleaned up after him because this is after the attack on the temple. You know, the younglings should be all be dead by now. What you can do here is play as Mace Windu in free play and sit in his chair. Also, Master Yoda's chair is missing. Maybe it needed to be cleaned after the younglings were slaughtered. You know, got some mess all over it, oh boy. There's also a mini kit you can collect if you stack up all the chairs and jump to the top. All the Jedi walking in for a meeting after you've stacked the chairs be like, hey, Who's been messing around in the council chambers? Oh, just Anakin after performing literally the worst act in the entire franchise. Gotta take those chairs out for dry cleaning. Once you complete Ruin of the Jedi and Revenge of the Sith, you'll get this cutscene where Yoda and Obi-Wan watch the security recordings. And they witness the death of Shark T, which like the clone Jedi imposters, doesn't actually appear in the film but only in a deleted scene. In fact, Shark T has two deleted scenes, two deaths. She was killed once by General Grievous and once by Anakin. So once again, the devs were probably working on this before George had signed off on the final cut of the film and they still weren't sure if they were gonna include Shark T's death in the actual film. However, this death is closer to the canon version. She appeared in this vision to Master Yoda in the Clone Wars. This is the one that's counted. She was stabbed, assuming by Anakin, but I still think the Lego version is the best, most brutal takes off her head and then her torso. Did you know that the high ground scene in Lego Star Wars is completely different to the film? In Lego Star Wars, Obi-Wan has the high ground halfway through the duel, and Anakin actually has a clear shot at killing Obi-Wan by rolling backwards, but instead just decides to kick Obi-Wan. Dude, that was your chance! The amount of times Obi-Wan gets kicked in this film is hilarious. And then after they, you know, go through the duel, you jump over this lava, dodge this, get out of the way of this, and once you defeat Anakin, Obi-Wan doesn't even have the high ground. Anakin just decides to do a backflip mid-duel and then Obi-Wan slices him in half. You missed your chance, Anakin. Leaving him to burn on the edge of the lava river. Dude, Obi-Wan, you've won the duel. How is it the Jedi way to leave your Padawan here dying in agony, cut in half, also lost a hand, burning in a lava river? He's still alive when you walk away. Finish the job. Obi-Wan's moral high ground in this scene is questionable. See what I did there? Are there any details, secrets, or Easter eggs you know about in LEGO Star Wars? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Also, a huge thanks to my friend Lintoni Gamer for helping me find all of these. Go check out his channel in the description below. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen my videos, I also have a clips channel with daily memes and Easter eggs, so you can check that out here. And for those who've been subscribed for a while, don't forget to come also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and to join my Discord to join the community and stay up to date with the latest in Star Wars gaming. And thanks for watching this. My name's Andrew, I'll catch you soon. <laughs> Stay bombastic.